Okay, so a little video today. We've bought ourselves a Defender that we're starting to work on, but the engine was a little bit noisy. So we, as you can see in here, we've taken the cylinder head off, um, and we think we found why it was noisy. So we took the pistons out, and the pistons should look like this nominally on one side. So this is obviously the top face of the piston, um, which all looks relatively fine. Um, the side should look like this. You can see you've got this sort of dark grey bit. But if I can do the big reveal, this one has gone like this. So at some point we think the engine's overheated. It's expanded and picked up on the cylinder wall. So this was number three piston. So let's have a look over here. Right, so you can see... Let me grab the camera, Kate. Thanks. There you go. You can see that the, the piston should look nice and sort of smooth like that if I hold the light at the right angle. But this one, where it was picking up on the one side, I think you can see the score marks down there. The others look mostly fine. So we're going to replace the piston and see if we can glaze bust. So that's what we're going to do a little video today and show you how to glaze bust. I've got one other little bit out to show you that's of some interest. So this is a 300 TDI engine. And this is an interesting little thing on the 300 TDI engine. And this could be another reason why it's um, picked up on one side. This sits underneath the piston and oil travels through there and squirts it. And it sprays oil up on, on that area that we've just shown you. Um, so we need to check all these are not blocked. So if you're doing that, it might be worth taking the oil washers and they live right at the bottom of the piston um, so if my bit of tape here I didn't plan this but if my bit of tape was the bottom of your piston ring that would be just poking through the bottom as you look down from the top there you would just see them poking around so right back to the job in hand pass that back to you Kate so we're gonna just rather than doing a rebore the scratching's relatively light we're gonna use this bad boy um, so this is a glaze busting tool um, it's got these sort of little springy little stones on the end of this shaft we put it in a cordless drill like so um, right we've marked there with this bit of tape here that's as far down the bore as we want to go we don't want the the stones to pop out the bottom um, right so right you go this side Kate um, I will show you what I understand now. I'm not a professional at this, and I make it up as I go along, but I had some professional advice, and this is apparently what you do. So you can put this in the bore, and then you've got to move it up and down. So it's something like this, I'm led to believe. Okay, and that should leave that surface looking a bit better. We'll do the offending one, and then we'll have a look and see if that's made any improvement on that. We have put a little bit of light oil on the inside of the board before doing this. I'll give that one just a little bit more. Right, and Kate, if I shine the light in, can you see if we can see if we've made much okay yeah that seems to have made a drastic improvement on that so i'll finish that but that's how to uh deglaze glaze bust the uh, the inside of a cylinder block